Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff, Inc. Today we will be showing you part two of how to replace your system board and your Toughbook CF30. First, remove the two screws holding the modem board in place. I've marked them with red circles so that you know exactly where they are. Next, peel back the tape covering the modem port. It will reveal two screws which also have to be removed. I've marked them with red circles as that you can find them quickly and you know exactly where they are. Once the screws have been removed, lift the modem out of place and lift the board out of place while removing the tape. Next, you will have to remove the internal memory there are two screws that hold a black bracket in place covering the internal memory. Remove the two screws, then lift the bracket. Next, there's a heating plate and then two clips holding down the memory. Push the clips apart and you'll be able to remove the memory. For the second memory card, do the same. Next, by the firewire port, there is a civil, silver screw holding the chassis in place. Remove the screw. Afterwards, you will have to remove the wireless card from the board. There are two screws holding that in place as well into the, com into the connector. I've marked them with red circles as though you could identify them quickly. After removing the screws, pull the card out of place. Next, there are several screws that have to be removed from the board. One thing I've noticed is that in the board, the black screws are marked with marker and the silver screws have arrows pointing to them printed on the board itself. You have to remove each screw to separate the board from the chassis. You have to do it. Don't. And then you remove the screws and make sure you keep track of all of them as you will be replacing them when you replace the board. I'm using a small Phillips head screwdriver for this. Next, you'll have to disconnect the ribbon cable from the SD board. And that would free up the main PCB. <coughs> Excuse me, main system board. Now, there are still several items can attached to the main chassis, such as the SD board. Remove the two screws and you'll be able to lift the board out of place. Also, the smart card reader. There are four screws that hold this component into place. You have to remove the four screws. And this will allow you to remove the card reader. There you go. Next, the P PCMIA. There are four screws holding this to the chassis. Remove the screws. There are two screws holding the front part. And then there is an extra screw for the back ribbon cable. And then there is a screw internally holding the PCMIA in place. 
and there you go you have stripped your chassis of all of its components as well as removed the main system board stay tuned in for part three of reinstalling the system board thanks for watching today for more repair videos click the link below and remember if you have a screwdriver you can fix a computer